I'm guessing we're right there. I'm actually confused. I don't even know which one to take. Mm, the pink dress will be good. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. The red? I'm actually thinking of the blue. <laughs> yes. I think this one looks better. Mm hmm. Okay, then.
Why did you do it? What are you talking about? Oh, stop it! Stop it! They said you did and you were even caught in the act. Clara, I did not kill my wife. Richard, how could you? She loved you. She was a friend and a sister. No matter what the problem was, you shouldn't have killed her! I cannot represent you. Yes, it would be a clash of interests. I think you should look for another lawyer that will believe your lies. But be rest assured that I will use the full force of my office to persecute you and send you to jail for the rest of your life. So that other women will be victims. Clara, what are you talking about? You're a murderer and a wicked man. I can't believe I'm hearing something. Now may I ask you, what happened to him? He's quoting the law for me. Don't worry, we shall see in court. Yes? Clara. And Clara. What is it? Are you alright? I've been standing for a while and you didn't even notice my presence. What do you want? Nothing. I just want to know how to visit it and which I went. That bastard. He's maintaining innocence. I don't think he is. I've been going through his pictures. He doesn't look like a killer. He seemed the wrong suspect. Of course he didn't. He was even caught in the act. And yes, he is the only suspect. I think they should investigate me. Maybe the real culprit may be found. Stop talking while we shall get out of my office! Get out! This is hard news. Before we go into the news in details, let's quickly look at the headlines. Barrister Mrs. Helen Richard has been murdered, and her husband, Mr. Richard, has been listed as a blind suspect. Chelsea beats its opponent in the Just Cup in the Premier League. <laughs> Now the news in details. Barrister Mrs. Helen Richard was murdered in her home and her husband, Mr. Richard, was listed as a crime suspect. The Commissioner of Police has given a press statement saying that the entire police force will not relent. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. Wow. You are surprised. Thank you so much. It's okay. Yeah, and baby, I'll be completing my youth service in two weeks now. Yeah, so 
I want to travel and see my neighbor. I want to see my uncle and discuss with him so he can give me a job in this country. Okay, I think that's a good plan, and I really hope you get a job. But maybe what will happen to us? I mean, what if you stay? Stay, I will find a job for you. I promise, I can do that. Okay. Okay, you've done enough for me already. Eh? I need to go establish myself and reward you. Okay? Don't worry. I'll be back. Okay? I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Make him marry. That's all for the news today. Until I come your way next time. From now, it is bye bye. What is going on? I went to your shop. Your son just told me you went home. She's dead. Who is dead? The husband snatcher. After going through the case file of the accused person, Mr. Richards, and his late wife, Marissa Helen Richards, I hereby declare in this honorable court. The bail is hereby denied, and the case adjourned till Tuesday, 24th of July, 2018, for further continuation of trial. This is my stake on this case. David is pressurizing me to accept someone else's crime, an offense I did not commit. She was my wife and she deserved justice. Now the bill has been denied, what do we do? Yeah, I think we have a way out now, another way to go about it. I think I will be needing every bit of information about you. Your life, your marital life, your life with Helen, no matter how relevant or irrelevant it might seem to be, I need it. It will help you go to the wrong way in opening up a fresh face. And it will set you free. I think I need it. So, this is a big problem. So, I'm going to have a regular problem. 
So Mr. Richard, I'm listening. Okay, um... Hello. Good day, madam. Good day. Can I give you a ride? Well, I'm not sure you're going my way. Sorry. No, you don't have to be scared or startled or anything. Um, you know the one I saw at GoFak Industries some minutes ago? Yes, I was there, but I didn't notice your presence. But I noticed you. Can I hop in? I mean, you take it to wherever you're going to. What? It's a That's my story. I've been searching for a job for months. Nothing is coming up. My uncle is not helping matters. I don't know what else to do. Richard, are you married? No. Girlfriend or fiancé? Nothing. Why do you ask? Um, nothing, but um, it's just that um, after telling me everything about yourself, your life history, and your work challenges, do not mention anyone special, like girlfriend or you know, someone. Well, I'm still searching. Mm. Yeah. Well, I pray you find one. Amen. <laughs> so you're the word all sweaty. I was like, who is this so guy? <laughs> I was so tired. I was so tired. Going for one cup maybe with another looking for jobs to help. But how can you Everything will be fine, okay? I promise you. Young man. Yes, Chief. My name is Helen. You told me almost everything about you. Are you a Christian and when can you start? When I can start? Chief, I'm a Christian and I can start immediately. Oh, that is good. Very good. Hello? Yes, secretary. I'm sending a young man to you now. Give him the required uh, fast food treatment. All right. Accept my congratulations. Um, we'll go to my office now and meet my secretary. She knows what to do. I expect you to be loyal and uh, diligent. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.
How to like this one? Mm -hmm. Sorry. What has been happening at work? Oh. Very stressful. Working with you too. It's a very difficult person. I know. You don't need to tell me. He's my uncle. So difficult. But it's alright. <clears throat> that makes sense. Too. Too much it's what I signed for. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Knowing you has been awesome, seriously. I'm glad I met you. <laughs> it's been lonely till I met you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, actually, I was thinking of showing you your days. Mm -hmm. What are you showing me? This. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Please. Show me. Marry me. No, 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 no. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Please? Don't say no. Oh, Richard, Richard. Don't say it. Please. Yes. Yes. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you serious? Wow. <laughs> Seriously, I was not expecting this. Okay. <laughs> This is beautiful. Yes. So you know what to do for me? Mm -hmm. Let's finish your food so we can go, okay? I'm going to be a <laughs> I can't eat the game. <laughs> mm. So, Barrister Clara Johnson, is that why you kill her? So that you take her place? I did not kill her. But your colleagues? said you never liked her, that you're always envious of her. That's not true. No, we had our differences, but I will never do such a thing to Helen. I did not kill her. You are lying. But you know what? Barrister, you better start telling me every single thing you know about this. Because I'm going to make sure that you never come out of this country. I've got my eyes on you. She knows. I don't know. I don't know. She just left my house after giving me the slap of my life. I just thought I should let you know. What her? What her? No, I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what to do. Why? Richard, why? Why did you have to do this to me? Why? Richard? Am I not good enough for you? Am I, am I not good enough? 
Why have I gone wrong? I don't understand. Can I satisfy you? Can I? What have I done to deserve this? The child Clara is my friend. She is my friend. You deserve this. Get out! Out! Get 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 I'm a remanager now. Fine. Have you been able to contact him? Yes, I was able to talk to the barrister. He promised to do something. He promised I'm going to be out. I know. 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 Are you making any effort to leave this place? Twenty years. Don't you have people? I'm an associate. Hey, let me find something. It's not been easy. Especially for an offense you did not commit. So, after all I did for you and your son, you still went ahead and killed his wife, my niece. Okay? So, so who killed my niece? If your son is not a killer. Woman, leave me. Leave me. Leave me alone. I warn you for the past. I have not started with him yet. By the time I finish with him, you will know that I am a dreaded liar. And no one steps on my toes and gets scot free. Nonsense! <laughs>
I was surprised after all this year that this place is so nice. I see. So, where is she now? I, I don't know where she is. After I left Delta State, we kept in contact for a while and I lost my phone and her contacts. And I decided to close that chapter of my life and moved on. But I know where she used to live. I don't know if she still lives there. You see, if I were you, I would be truthful and say things the way they are. If you have necessary information, lay it off now to avoid rotting in jail, Mr. Richard. I will send the boy, Mr. Fran, hopefully to go to the other state to come in this investigation. Yeah, madam, here are the items we found in the other room. You can take a look. What is it? Yeah, here is calabash and pictures. Oh. Written in it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, you have to fill us to the station for question. Please take her. Richard, you just have to put yourself together in this. Because Mr. David and I are working very hard to make sure that justice is served in this case. Yeah, I was able to pull a few of my men to move their house and apartment. Here yeah, we discover a calabash with some of your pictures in it. Are you serious? Yeah. Your service pictures, your wedding pictures, your wife, yeah. And there is also a letter that she made with her signature on it, saying, Love us, man. Good morning. This is a public service announcement. The lady on the screen is Ms. Vera Enu and has been linked to the mother of Barrister Mrs. Helen Richard. Our effort by the authorities to bring her to work has proven property as she is nowhere to be found. Anyone with useful information about 
her whereabouts, she kindly called the number on the screen. Thank you. Um, someone placed a call from here regarding one where I am. Alright? Yes. Oh, here? Yeah? She was brought in here some days ago with no ID by a good Samaritan who works in the hotel she was staying. With a note written, My beloved Richard. I will wait for you in the underworld by your soulmate, Vera, in her hands when she tried to commit suicide. Are you trying to say she's still alive? Yes, she is. She is alive. We popped her stomach immediately and flushed the pills out of her system and registered her as the endo. But nobody seems to come look for her. Not until this morning when we saw the news and her picture. I decided to call the numbers Well, um, I'll you. I must appreciate your understanding of the so far. Thank you very much, God bless you. Then, I want you to do everything possible to keep her alive. Right? She's a suspect in the ongoing investigation. You know what I mean? Do everything. Whatever bill you want us to pay, we will pay. But just make sure she's fine. We need that. Process. That wouldn't be a problem. But we've done all we could. It's really left for her. It's either she fights and wins, or she quits and dies. Well, there's not some limit.
Where is Richard? So, Vera, can you kindly tell us why you did what you did? <laughs> I did it for love. He wanted me to. Mom, what is the meaning of that? Who wanted to? I will say no more. Not with that, my Richard. No, you have to say something. Look, young lady. Do not play games with us. You don't know how much in trouble you are. I bet she doesn't know. You must tell us everything you did here and now. Hello. 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 It is me. It is me, Vera Ene, your love. Hi, Vera. How are you doing? How is your mom? We need to see. No, I need to see you. I am in your town. No, Richard, I am not going to be here for that long. I can even come to your office. I know where it is. Richard, I am asking you nicely. Please make out time for me. We need to see. Have a nice day. I'll be waiting for your call. Okay, madam, what do I do? Well, I am not a madam, thanks to you. Not madam, what am I here to do? I believe you and I have a mutual friend called Richard. Do you mean my own Richard? I don't understand. My husband, Richard. How do you know Richard? Well, he happens to be my Richard, too. I'm his first wife. Excuse me? Yes. You should have not gotten married. Okay, listen. Listen, me. I don't have time for this. Yeah? I'm a very busy lady. I've got a lot of things to do. Let me see. Do you need money? Are you hungry? If you need money and you give someone some black meal or anything, you've got the wrong thing. I don't have time for this, okay? You need to get it. Okay? Excuse me, Helen. You should listen to me. Take your hands off me. Come you will. Do you know what? I am not a third star. And I am definitely not crazy. Okay? Which of the nine beds are doing this week for this things? I'm assuming. So much. And then. Somewhere along the line, he declared his intentions to marry me. And guess what? He proposed. 
Yes, he did. And towards the end of his service, he came to see my funeral and then we had a traditional marriage. That was when he came, he wanted to get a job for his family. He left town. He lost contact and never saw him again. He lived away to hear he got married to so show and that, and yet, this is the way you gave me when you had a question. You see, I'm not married. Enough! Enough, enough! I cannot entertain this again. Listen to me. Listen very well. Richard and I are married, okay? You need to know that. I need to stay the hell away from Richard and my family and me and everyone. I can't take this anymore. Okay? You better stay away. I will. You listen I to me, Helen. I am not crazy. We got married. I'm, I'm his first wife. We didn't get married. Helen. Oh, crazy. We didn't get married, okay? We didn't get married. Some people say it to bring you down. I mean, to scatter a sweet marriage God has given to you. You don't have to believe it. What am I supposed to do with that information? See, David, he never told me about that. That's because it's not necessary. I told him every single thing about my relationships. All my past relations, I told him about it. And he did the same thing too. So I'm actually shocked. Because he never told me about her. I understand, but then that should be a lie. Okay, fine. What do you want to do now? Do you want to confront him? I'm confused. Our marriage is going through a lot of challenges now. We're barely holding ourselves up together. Like, it's, it's already shattered. Something like this is gonna end it. They said, I just don't know what do I do. Can you reach out to your cousin? What I want you to do is you will not give room for people coming in to bring your marriage. I mean, that's a mistake people make. Stay put with your husband. Go home. Be with him, act like nothing happened. Even though you want to ask him, there are ways to do so. You don't have to believe that. 100% I don't believe that. Like, he's married to her. It's not possible. Alright? Stop. I'm ready. I'm ready. Love, are you, are you okay? Shut me, I don't know you were coming. How was it trip? My trip was fine. You will see me a million miles away. Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay, it's just that you were coming. Are you okay? You're, you're born enough. Are you sure you're okay? I've been having life a little bit. No, are you sure you'll be fine all by yourself until the doctor gets you? If you stay at home and take care of you. 
I'll be fine, okay? Besides, you need to get to the office to make a report about the trip. Yes, I will, but the company that I will see them later. Mommy, you don't need too much. I'll be fine, okay? Don't you sure? Yes. Besides, the doctor will soon be here. I'll give you a call, okay? I'll give you a report on the And Clara says she will come in and go, let's go through the case file. If you say something, you can call me. <laughs> Love Alright, so I will see you later, okay? Love you too, bro. And make sure you call me. I will find you. Right. have a lovely, wonderful baby. I love you. Mm. 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 Bad reception. Hello? Hello? What is it? Yeah. Don't you know it's working? What do you want? The last time when you get back from your trip and you never did. That's so. Now listen to me. My wife is not feeling too well, okay? So I've been trying to make our time to see you. Those schedules are very tight. You, your, your wife? You, your wife? You see your wife has an excuse. Now what about me? What am I to you? Richard! Hello? You okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Why don't you look where you are going? My mind was somewhere else. I said I'm sorry, okay? I, I was just distracted by something. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Because you wouldn't bump into me otherwise. Do you have to try to this for me? I just said I'm sorry. It's not bad enough. As I said, I told you I'm actually a bit confused. This. I'm so sorry for shouting at you. So, you again? I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. 
the phone, thanks. You see how it gets. Don't be offended. I feel guilty for shooting out to you now. Thanks. It's okay. I'm fine. I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. Excuse me. Hello? Hi, how is you? Who is this? Um, my name is Calvin. And my friends call me Gabby Swag. Okay, Mr. Calvin, how may I help you? On the contrary, I was wondering how I can be of help to you. You had me a lot to that this moment. And you seem so sad and uh, happy and I was wondering what could be making this beautiful woman unhappy. And I said to myself, Kev, call her and make her happy. I'm sorry Mr. Kelvin, I think you've got the wrong number because I actually don't know that I need to do. I'm sorry, I really don't need your help so I'm cutting this call right now. No, 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 no. I have the right from you. Your card fell from your hands and I picked it up. And would love to give it to your wife. What do you think of all that? Thanks, Monster. Thank you. But I'm not in serious need of a card. I actually don't need it that bad. Can I take it again? Okay then, have a meal with me. Sorry. I'm more hungry. What about drink? I don't drink. What about sex? It was very, very stupid and silly. I actually think you're sick in the head. What do you take me for? Ah, I'm sorry, cause I had to make you come pick it up, okay? It's okay. It's sorry. Okay. I would have brought this to you, but work has been crazy lately. Terribly. Okay, it's okay. I understand. 
okay and i really appreciate that at least you stepped in to help a brother in this case because i really need this case to go off asap i've got a life i have no choice <laughs> thank you your phone is ringing oh, it's not important so oh yeah that's it that's the part i really need you to help me with. oh yes you need to really go through this one very important okay. but, uh, take your call on me. <sighs> seriously it's not important. How do you know it's not important? It could be something really... David. Yeah. See, that's the number I've been telling you about. That idiot. He's been calling me. He calls me every night, every day. He's so irritating and annoying. Like, if I, if I, like I don't know if I, I can actually break this guy's head. What do you expect? I mean, secret admirers can be really crazy. Mm-mm. Poor rat, more like it. Something like that. Please, I'm gonna let each other hear what you just said. Seriously, this guy is going to put me in trouble. I'm not joking. He calls me morning day, like all the time, 24 hours. Richard is beginning to suspect me. He's thinking I'm having an affair. So, anyway, just uh, text me his number. I'll just uh, tell him all. Thanks, Gross. I. I pray it doesn't get to that because seriously, I'll be going nuts like crazy. Going nuts. I'm serious. Oh. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> for keeping you alive to finally, finally tell us the truth, how it happened. Hey! Uh, um, this is the doctor's report. He said you're well too strong to be discharged. So, Miss Vera, you are under arrest for the mother of Mrs. Helen Richard. You don't have to see nothing. Whatever you see now, would you please stand, please? So, Justice can go Woman, relax. Justice delayed is justice denied. Justice must be done. 